talk about money. I know nobody wants to talk about money. Like, yeah. But this one is true. Talk about money. Talk about financial, uh, finances. Talk about your bills. Talk about, like, just talk about. Hey Zaylit world, welcome to my channel, besties, welcome to my channel, it's your girl Zaylit and Kama Kawaida, I always try to bring you guys the best and so, I'm back, fresher than never. <laughs> like yeah, I'm back fresher than ever, so guess what guys, I haven't been vlogging lately, why? Because I felt like vlogging isn't just my thing i just needed just to do a sit down thing and talk about life in general relationship in general businesses in general like yeah i needed like to take you guys through this journey with me as we explore right we're exploring in relationship we're exploring in life we're exploring in businesses right so like yeah and so today our first sit chit chat talk is all about five healthy relationship advice yeah five healthy relationship advice i'm going to talk about and one of them uh, and i put them actually in point that those are five and definitely i won't forget to give you guys a bonus like usual right so today uh let's talk about the five healthy relationship advice that um, maybe you've come across some of them or maybe you're new and uh, you are going to listen to them from this channel for the first time and uh, i'm really hoping that you're going to stick around as we share this journey together so number one don't allow anyone to interfere in your relationship be it your friend be it your family, be it your brother, be it your sister, be it your neighbor. Never allow anyone to interfere in your relationship because by doing that, you're giving them the upper power of deciding how your relationship is going to be. So never allow anyone to interfere in your relationship. When it comes to this, like you need, when it comes to your relationship, you just need to guard your relationship with dignity. With a lot of dignity. So don't allow anyone to interfere with your matters when it comes to your relationship number two don't talk about your relationship issues with your family don't talk about your relationship issues with your friends don't talk about your relationship issues with your neighbors because then they will just know the skeleton that is in that is in your house the skeleton that is in your relationship like um your husband or your boyfriend or your friend like when i'm talking about this i'm talking about any kind of relationship in general so when you're having a healthy relationship but uh majorly will be all about the boy girl relationship so if you are going to tell your friends or your family about your relationship issues the issues that are bothering you in your relationship then definitely they are the one to decide for you if you're going to stay in that relationship or not they're not like going to consider the happy side of that relationship or the saddest side of the relationship they're just going to decide for you if the relationship is good for you or not and deep down you are the only one who knows if that relationship is good for you so never never talk about your relationship issues with anyone don't talk don't talk about your relationship issues with your family because once you are giving your family the negative vibe about your partner definitely they're not going to like your partner and what if you and your partner are going to spend like the rest of your lives together your family will always have that negative bit about your partner yeah we learn the hard way so don't share your issues with your family your friends or your neighbors because they are the one who are going to decide for you if you're going to stay or not by the way remember your family like uh, your partner is not dating either of them they are not dating your family he's not dating your friend he's not dating your husband he's oh he's not dating your neighbor he's dating you so 
if you're going to talk about your your relationship issues with them, that means that yeah, your partner is dating them together with you. Like I don't know if I'm making sense, but yeah, I am. So number three, figure out your recurring relationship issues. Like figure out your recurring relationship. Oh my god, that relationship thing we can talk talk. Figure out your relationship issues. For instance, I am an impulse buyer. Like I just get something and buy it, and my partner doesn't like it. He doesn't like like maybe one day he'll just come inside the house and he finds like ah babe has bought a cooker. I didn't inform him. How will he feel? Like I'm so inconsiderate, right? So. Those are some of the recurring problems in most of the relationship. Or uh, maybe your work schedule. Maybe you're working from eight to nine in the evening, and you've not talked about it. And your you, your partner has always talked about it. He's uh, repeatedly telling. He's been repeatedly telling you about this particular thing, and you've not like rectify it. So like. Figure out your recurring problems and solve them. And when solving them, solve them with dignity. Because only th once you talk about those recurring problems, only then will you know what your partner likes and what your partner doesn't like. Yeah. So number four, opening up to your partner helps you get closer and closure. So every time like you feel like your partner will not listen to you, it it brings a room it creates a room for negativity and resentment but once you feel like your partner listens to you like you can share anything with your partner something that is bothering you you can tell your partner about your day how awful it was or how good it was and he listens it brings room to happiness in the relationship like once you feel appreciated with your partner like once you feel your partner appreciates you by listening to you. It removes all the negativity. It removes all the resentment. And you'll feel valued in that relationship. So number five, talk about money. I know nobody wants to talk about money. Like, yeah. But this one is true. Talk about money. Talk about financial, uh, finances. Talk about your bills. Talk about, like, just talk about all these things. Uh, sorry. Like, I just have to tell you a story. I used to date this man. Yes. And then what he does, he'll bring Miwa. Miwa is sugar king. He never, uh, like, he didn't know how I used to pay my bills. He never knew how, like, I was surviving on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, you get. So, like, once you're entering into a relationship, talk about money. Th that was the biggest mistake I did. Like, how was he going to help me? And this was the kind of person you couldn't even borrow money from. Yeah. Like, uh, for instance, you want to do something and then you like, Hey, kindly, uh, I need a certain amount of money. He'll ask you, what do you want to do with this money? What do you want to do with this money? And forever he was broke. Forever. And Makiu, he was working. And Makiu, he was earning more than I was. So, like, yeah, always, always talk about money. When entering into a relationship, talk about money. Uh, like, I'm, I'm trying to remember how foolish I was because, like, I stayed in that relationship for a year, for two, year, two good years uh, with all those dramas. But uh, who was I? Like, I still stayed there. I still stick to there. I don't know if this is necessary, but yeah. If you let me talk about money because once you talk about your finances you'll know you'll know if this person is a spender if this person uh, if this person is a saver you'll know you'll actually know if this person is a drunkard and uh, if this person is able to cater for you and your family is this person able to uh, if if you're not around will this person be able to like maintain a family with this person like yeah talk about them in fact ask them how much they are earning i know those are some kind of 
those are like uncomfortable questions to ask but ask them yeah so number five although that was number five and i told you i'm going to give you a bonus right love your partner every day just imagine waking up like uh, actually love is like an action love is something that comes in on a daily basis like love is something that grows love 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 is love i don't know how i can tell you what love is but in your language you just know what love is so i'm going to tell you like once you wake up early in the morning and then you find flaws with your partner then definitely the all of your day is ruined and then you'll feel less love for this person for the rest of the day but every morning you wake up and you find this partner beautiful you find this partner handsome you find the you you like ignore the flaws of this partner and then you love this person even more then definitely your day is gonna be made like you'll you'll fall in love with this person on a daily basis so when you are in a relationship fall in love with the person that you're with on a daily basis wake up in the morning and the first thing you feel is like the love is growing one percent on a daily basis that's all for today don't forget to tune in and don't forget to hit the likes and subscribe button for me thank you so much i love you guys and i'll see you on my next vlog tomorrow bye